here we go. I am fucking Hitler. I just need to hear your voice and know that you're safe. Please call as soon as you can. I won't stop leaving you messages until I know. Half of Gauss' cabinet was on that plane with her. The rest were scattered around the globe. No one seems to know who's next in line of succession. What about the watchtowers? The orders went out. They're being retasked. But no positive contacts yet. Third asteroid in South Asia, fuck me. Oh, God. I'm sorry. Yeah, you should be Delgado. We did everything we could. You did. We don't know for certain if it could have been stopped. It fucking could have. I know I didn't fight hard enough. I know I was a coward. Thank you for not disagreeing. The fight is not over. It's close. If Marco's got the fucking proto molecule. The watchtower's got a fix. Not again. <sighs> Shit. Oh, wow. Fuck you. Target has been eliminated. Oh, God. Jesus. Oh, Naomi. Where are you taking me? Why bring her down? Tell me! There. Shit. I know it's gonna be fucking Marco. Oh no. No, I do. No, no. Oh, you son of a bitch! My son, you did it. Oh, we did it. <laughs> this is our moment. Imagine we'd be speaking face to face again. If it had been up to me, we never would have. Still, it's cool to see you again. Yes, fuck you. You've never cared about anyone but yourself. All you've ever wanted is to see your enemies burn. In some cases, yes, that's true. Oh, he's good. But people change. Raising a child gives you a certain ambition you otherwise never would have had. A primal desire to give your child a better world than the one you were given. Is that why you had our son kidnap me? No. Philip brought you here on his own. Believe me, when he told me what he'd done, I was as surprised as you. I thought Philip was a man, but I guess in some ways he's still a little boy who needs his uh, mother. At least now that you're here, we as a family can celebrate the greatest victory in our people's history. Together. She doesn't know. Now this I did want to be a surprise. You did this? It's everything we ever dreamed of. You've murdered millions innocent people. I freed our people. You put blood on our son's hands, just like you did to me. He did not make me do anything. I was proud to do my part. Yeah, well done. Philip took the stealth tech from Mars. He helped make this dream a reality. Boss mate, tracking scope show for to destroy tree rock. Got a tree miss. There you go. One hit, 
would have been a triumph. Two proved our tactical brilliance. But after three, the inners will never perceive us as weak again. Jesus Christ. Philip, escort your mother to her quarters. Fuck off, Philip. I know he's brainwashed. I know, I know, but I just I hate Help it. Me. Welcome home. Oh, fuck you. Piece of shit. I told you he was dangerous. They should have fucking... I didn't go out of that airlock. You were wrong to leave us. You have no idea. You have no idea, young man. I'm invincible, please! Philip! No. no, Amy, I'm so sorry. Ready, boss me. Here we go. I am fucking Hitler. My name is Marco Inaros. I am the commander of the Free Navy. We are the military arm and voice of the outer planets, and we are the ones responsible for striking our oppressors on Earth and Mars. This attack was retribution for generations of atrocities committed by the Inners against innocent Belters. The Free Navy now possesses the last remaining sample of the proto molecule. Any Do transgressions it. by the Inners and the Free Navy will not hesitate to unleash the protomolecule on either planet. Under the protection of the Free Navy, the society and culture of the Belt will begin again and remake humanity without the corruption, greed, and hatred that the inner planets could not transcend. We will citizens of the Belt, Beratnas, rise up now in joy and glorious resolve this day is ours tomorrow is ours the future of humanity is ours today and forevermore we are free I'm literally tingling all over. Wow. Wow. What I will say <coughs> is this is why equality is also in the interests of whoever has the power advantage at the given time. Because you push people for long enough, you make more Koenaros as possible. And we are where we are. He's done it. He's landed as his, he's landed his asteroids on Earth. He's got the proto molecule. It, I mean, it's it's a deal breaker. Is he's calling for an uprising? There will be one. I mean. This is going to look very different based on where you are. I live on Earth, so I'm fucking devastated by what has just happened. You know, you feel the asteroids hit, you imagine the carnage, the people drowning, people being blown to pieces, you know, and, it, and it's very visceral to you. But I also do want to be fair in terms of, not, not fair because it, what's happened's wrong, there's no making it right. But what I'm saying is, if you're a belter, you know, eking out an existence on series, fuck all resources, you know, you can't even, as, um, you know, we saw with Miller, you can't even finish washing your hair in the morning because your water rations run out, you're hungry, your kids are, you know, working in an environment that's so polluted, they're probably not going to live past their 40th birthday, and you're watching that, you're watching a fellow belter with you know, earth by the balls. That is going to be rousing as fuck. Like, the, I, I, and I couldn't, I would, I couldn't blame 
those belters in series enduring that for seeing this a fundamentally different way than the, than the rest of us would see it because they've actually been the ones living for probably fucking better part of a century in the worst fucking conditions so they're not going to really have much sympathy um with what's happened on earth necessarily and even if they do have sympathy in the sort of abstract like it's you don't want it to happen i think that there would be a part of them that is like now you know how it feels now you know how it feels to be afraid to lose people that you love and care about to have your lives viewed as worthless um you know it's just pawns in a political game it's a very it's an incredibly powerful attack from both perspectives you know it, it really will this will fucking hurt earth it will hurt mars even because there will be people on mars or from earth they'll know people you know it, it's gonna shake the whole system up and and the biggest point here is that they were saying guess what also now you you've got jurisdiction on your own planets space is ours you don't belong here you're terrestrial beings we're in space we control the outer planets the ring gates are ours fuck off i hate him but he's a genius he's a genius which is exactly my point after and i know i disagree i know kamina and ashford agreed and i said a nice thing about it last episode because i was feeling sorry for kamina but they should never have let this man live. I said that at the time, and I stand by that statement now. He was far more dangerous than a civil, even a civil war amongst the Belters. He was more pro more problematic. Um, and I feel like I've been proven right on this. This is, this is bad. <sighs> And the reason I say it's bad is not... I don't necessarily believe even that he would mistreat Belter people in charge. I, I think he's smart enough not to do that, actually. I think... I think... I think that Belters would have it better under Marco and Aros than the current system. I'm, I'm pretty confident in terms of, you know, their living conditions, their opportunities, all of that sort of stuff. I actually do. I think the issue of Marco is much bigger than that, which is... I believe that he won't stop there and he doesn't understand the games around, uh, that he's playing with the proto molecule. You know, he's starting to throw the proto molecule a planet in a heartbeat. Jesus, you know, that's like Erin Wright status of prick at this point. But more than that, he doesn't understand how the proto molecule impacts the, the, the wider architecture of the rings. And the, and the planets so it's very possible now that marco could trigger another event and not know what the fuck to do um and then we'll see where that goes maybe that's the only way this guy goes out I've, i feel like this is the kind of guy that's got to take himself out um because he's very smart he's incredibly articulate he is passionate I do think he believes the things he says when he says them. But I don't think he's fully aware of quite how evil he is, which is partly what makes him so evil. It's gutting to watch Fred die. I just, I can't believe what happened on Tycho. That was, that was a swerve. Does Anderson Dawes come back now? Are we finally going to get Anderson Dawes back now that Chernobyl's finished and everything else is done? We can have Jared back. Um, I think, actually, I would much rather see Anderson Dawes taking on Marco and Aros because at least I think that's like kit. That is type A versus type A. Those two going against each other would really be interesting because they're very similar. And, you know, they're both, much, they're both actually belters, you know, they're both charismatic, dangerous, articulate, um, 
beloved um, belters. So I wrote, God, please let that happen. Please let Anderson Dawes come back. Of course, the question is, would Anderson Dawes actually fight Marco Naras or would he at least create a temporary alliance for the for the purposes of pragmatism? Very, very possible. But Fred, rest in pieces. Also rest in pieces, Nancy Gao and half her cabinet, um, who were just... <sighs> blown to smithereens. So we've got Earth now doesn't have a leader. They're completely at sea. So you know what I'm going to say? I think we need to put Avasarala in charge immediately because she's the only fucking person on the planet who actually knows what is going on. She's got experience with the protein molecule. She's figured out the Marco Inara stuff. She's got a whole background um, on the asteroids. You know, she's got her relationships with Jim and the Rosinante crew. Like, this is the woman, this is the woman, this is the moment. I'm very glad she didn't win the election or she'd probably be dead now like Nancy Gao. So thank you very much for that. But I'm really worried about Jim's family. I'm really worried about Arjun. Um, I'm not so much worried about Amos and Clarissa just because of the timing and him being at the prison. I feel like that just facilitated hopefully us getting Clarissa back. Fingers crossed. But, you know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be unlike the expanse to fuck me over and <laughs> get me again with that. So, yeah, I mean, I, I honestly don't know what else to say. I'm, I'm really a touch shell-shocked. After that, the Sakai thing just threw me for a loop. I can't wait to see reactions to this. Once I'm done and I can watch other people's reactions, it's going to be the day for me. Because I re this is going to be a great... So far, these four episodes, I think, are pretty reaction-worthy. But this one in particular is like, holy shit, this is boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I think that's it for now. There's not much more I can say at, at this point, but I just, wow. Wow. That did not go the way I thought it was gonna go, but none of this series has. I mean, this is a really surprising season for me in that this was probably the closest we've come, probably as an audience, to thinking we knew what a season was about going into it. Um. Or at least we knew, you know, do you know what I mean though? It was like, okay, this is about the asteroids hitting the earth and how are we going to, you know, there is so much more going on. Um, you know, and the, I can't believe Marco's got the protein molecule and Cortazar. Like this is, that's probably the thing I'm worried about most because actually the ramifications for that are far worse than the asteroids. This is like, wipe us all out to the last person stuff. And I and he fundamentally does not understand the power that he's playing with here. He's not been a party to any of these conversations or interactions about the protein molecule. He ain't got a fucking clue what he's doing. He's only, he only sees things, and okay, fine. He only sees things from his own perspective. And he's seeing, he's he's in a zero-sum game. But reality isn't a zero-sum game. There are all these other sides and there are all of these possible variables and outcomes. And... Uh, oh, this season is going to... Oh. Wow. And we never even got an answer to what was going on with Bobby and... And Alex and the, the ships. So that must be, I guess, next episode or further into the season that we're going to get some sort of closure on that because we left them just... I think they were breaking and they needed to change speed to kind of keep track and stuff. It's weird. Oh. I am exhausted after that episode. Exhausted. Oh my god. 
brilliant though. It's brilliant. This is why I love this show. It's like any time you think, oh, I think I've got a handle now on what, you know, what's going on and what games are afoot. And then you're just like, no, you fucking don't. No, you don't. You do not. Oh, superb. Okay, folks, until the next time, hopefully when I've had a haircut, <laughs> bye-bye. Thank you for being a friend.